Daesh, still Daesh, and since uh, beginning of uh, September, they were foreign, uh, what we call them, uh, original ISIS, let's say, the foreigner fighter. Yes. Foreign fighter, they just joining them. Uh, uh, what do you see in this is the first approach to others? The training without uh, ammunition is uh, it's not good. Of course, we need more ammunition. Way from Kobani, Manbij to Mosul. And now, how frequently are there operations? Uh, roughly they like 200, depends, sometimes going to 300, 150, depends of the, the movement because as I mentioned they use this area like transit area you know, between Hawija, uh, let's say Kirkuk and uh, Nainawa uh, area and they are dangerous because the mentality of this jihadis, they are still there and uh, the whole, all this flat area, it's very easy for them because the Iraqi forces, I think they don't have enough forces to to, to present on whole villages, let's say, all them. They have some just in the main uh, cities or main villages and the, 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 the main roads. For seriousness, for people to be serious. Uh, but the problem, unfortunately, was going on uh, last two weeks, what you're seeing, you know, the first in, in Baghdad, so the situation was almost freezing, you know. Uh, no activities because they were busy with these problems inside the, the capital in Baghdad. But uh, there is a uh, committee and there is a negotiating between them and the uh, Ministry of Peshmerga and the Ministry of Defense of, of Baghdad, and they have very good relations. Yeah. They talk to each other. So the committee established. So even if we do any operation there, it's useless. If you repeat it again, like we did last summer, if we do that, it's useless because they will be ISIS again. You have to, to protect the area as what under Peshmerga control before to make the whole mountain it's safe because when they're reaching the mountain it's not easy to defeat them, you know, because there is too many tunnels, there is too many caves.